Welcome to Kyoto. We are at the Ryokan, another Ryokan, slightly more up to date one this time. It's got uh, a few more modern amenities, including an ensuite bathroom, which is pretty useful. Um, we have been a walk around Kyoto, we've used the subway system and the buses. It's all really, really efficient, which uh, is fantastic actually. You can just sort of walk around, nobody's eyeing you in the, f uh, eyeing you in the face, elbowing you in the eye. <laughs> Um, as you walk through. Tonight we've actually got a tour of the Geisha district with a guy called Duncan who's coming to pick us up at quarter past five. Uh, he's going to drive us there. We're going to walk around, hopefully see a few Geishas. Um, there's going to be lots and lots of cool things to see out there and then we're getting dropped off somewhere where there's lots of nice places to eat. Don't know what yet, we'll just figure that out when we get there. We're here for five days in total. We're doing a day up in the Hakoni Mountains for for one day. We're up there for one day, staying one night, and then we're coming back here for two days. day nine of our Japanese adventure. We have our last night here tonight before moving on in the morning. Today we're going to go and explore the bamboo forest and a few temples along the way. We'll probably find somewhere interesting to eat. Last night we had a tour of the Geisha district with a guy called Duncan. Uh, he was absolutely fantastic. Really, really friendly guy. Got on with him perfectly. He knew all of the details of all the local areas, all the Geishas, the history, where they go even what they're called and how old they were, so it was absolutely awesome. Afterwards we went to a uh, ramen restaurant, which was again fantastic, I was on his recommendation. Um, we went in, we, there was a little bit of a wait because we went at an awkward time, but once we got in there we had a massive, massive bowl of ramen. I had the white chicken, I think it was white chicken noodle? It was white ramen and black ramen. Yeah, it was white, white ramen, black ramen. Uh, Sally had the black ramen, which is the same as the white, but with a bit more soy sauce added. And yeah, couldn't fault it in the slightest. It was absolutely delicious. So thanks to Duncan for recommending that one. Thank you. 
to look this up. Uh, forgive me, I'm going to have to keep looking down at various things because I've forgotten the names of all these places have been. This is actually two days on from the last update I did because I completely forgot to do one yesterday due to the amount of travelling we did. We got up early in the morning in Kyoto. We caught the bus down to Kyoto Station. We then caught the he Hikari Shinkansen. That's the one, yeah, to Shinosaka. From there, we got the subway through to a place called Namba. At Namba, we actually changed from the subway station to the main station where we caught the uh, Nankai Koya Line Express to Hashimoto. At Hashimoto, we then transferred to the Koya Line Regular, which is, I believe, the Koya Line Local, which is the slightly slower train as it does a few more stops. From there, we went to a place called Gokurakabashi, I believe it's called. Uh, it's probably pronounced completely differently to that, but that's where we went. Uh, from there, we got a cable car to a place called Koyasan, and when we got off the cable car, there was a bus waiting for us to bring us down to bus stop in town, and from there we walked to our accommodation, which uh, didn't open for check-in till three, so we had a few hours to spare, so we went into the nearby town, got some information, had a look through a few shops, and had some delicious dinner. So it's been a very, very busy day yesterday. Uh, we had a very early night last night. We went to sleep around about half nine, which is the earliest I've been to sleep in a very long time. But it was fantastic. We slept in almost complete silence. Um, the sort of traditional futon beds, which actually have been cleared away now. The, the monks came and set them up and cleared them away last night and this morning. They brought us an amazing dinner last night and we also had um, a breakfast this morning which was mostly fruit and salad so that's fine, you know, a nice fresh start to the day. The train we've got to catch, well, the cable car we've got to catch is, I think it's about three minutes past ten so we've got a little while to explore this morning. It's a very, very fresh morning. Um, you can probably see the garden behind us there which looks absolutely beautiful but you, you can't really tell how cold it is this morning. I'm woken up quite chilly. Yeah, tomorrow morning is going to be cookery course. This morning we're going to explore a bit more of Koyasan and this afternoon we're going to be in Kyoto so we'll explore a bit more of Kyoto. So yeah, I'll catch you later.